Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we're on the Citadel again, and we have a couple of things, a couple of errands to run while we're here. I like this new map. This is, this is nice. So apparently here, Diana Allers is important, so maybe we should go talk to her. Uh, but then, yeah, Counselor Udina is, I th think, what we're doing. In fact, what are we doing? Uh, so the council must be informed. Go to the Counselor Udina's office. Yeah, so that's how we do that. And then Ashley's in the medical ward. We need to do that. So apparently there's someone here. Uh... Oh. Is this Is this our friend? What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? This sounds like a terrible idea. Sure. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, and James is gone. Okay. That was James, right? Pretty sure. Okay. Oh, war asset acquired. Uh, okay. Don't know what that means. Uh, am I going the right way? Not, not at all. Oh, hi there. You, you've got a bit of a makeover, haven't you? You, a lot grosser looking. I have to say. I, think I preferred you when you were just metallic. Uh, oh, it's you again. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm, I'm trying. Uh, okay, so this is the Normandy. This is the viewing dock. Security check. Okay, so that was the right way. Oy. Ever heard of, like, a sign? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Okay, so we can... Okay, okay, okay. This isn't one of those free roam citadels. This is a go where you're told kind of citadel. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at this. What does this do? Nothing. Okay. Um... So this is just the offices. Five is the office suite. I don't, I don't know why I would want that. There's a Spectre office. And that looks... Is that maybe a shop? Okay, one CSEC. Two is Earth. So directly to my right. That's Commander Bailey. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Oh, well, that's straightforward. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? 
New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I was trying, you weren't there. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Paladin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. Well, the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. I'm very confused. When we sacrificed the council, didn't we make a human council? With, um, with uh, the, the admiral on it? Was it admiral? Our friend, the one we left on earth? Completely blanked on his name. 
This council feels exactly the same as the one that we destroyed. Apart from the Solarian, they sound a little different, but the other two are, seem to be more or less the same character. Um... Yeah, and like, I don't know why we're so hostile. Like, it... We're, we're standing over here being like, but Earth, it's under attack. And they're like, yeah, so are our homeworlds. I don't know. It, if, as I've mentioned before, it feels like the game tries to push you down a very particular way of thinking with your character. Okay, so I am now Spectre. So I can now just shimmy my way into here. Uh, okay, Spectre Terminal, Spectre Requisitions. Uh -huh. Okay, got my email. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information, access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. Hmm. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal by... Sure. Welcome, Aquarian Fleet. Uh... Jen Volan Na Nima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet, which is tech. On Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. His pilgrimage was recalled. Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. Hmm. So conflict with the Geth or conflict with the Reapers? Sure. What can I uh oh wow. That's uh that's a little pricey for me. Okay, well we'll have to come back when we have some money, I guess. What else do we have in here, do you think? Ooh. Shooting range. Uh, uh what Okay, so we have MO target control, target reset, target distance. Okay. I I see what's going on. It'd be nice if I could um Ah, and I can choose weapons, I see. Um I don't like I'm very confused. All right, let's not worry about this right now. <laughs> it's, it's too much for me. It's early in the morning. Okay, so we got our little spectre room. That means that we'll probably be coming back here fairly regularly, I guess. Okay. What else do we got here? Uh, three. Oh, that's it for right here. Really? Nothing at all over here? Oh, just a nice viewing area. Okay. Uh, why don't we go talk to Captain Bailey? I'm sure he's got something. Have he? Is it just me or? Our arms are like sticks and our legs don't really. We seem to be a little stiff in our legs. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It just something very odd about the way we walk. Um, Captain Bailey. Hello. Five. Oh. James is here now. Am I crazy? Did I just miss it? It was on the left. Yes, I am crazy. 
So where's James? Is he caused in trouble? There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. We might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Okay. It's not grim at all. And let me guess, does this lady want to talk to me now? Is she around? Yeah, absolutely. Well, can't wait to tell her to get lost. Where is oh well. Commander Shepard? Mm. Commander, the people of the Alliance are Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. Yeah, I remember you. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want some? Ugh. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Yeah, well, it's good that that's on film. Well, that won't come back to bite me at all. Where is everyone? Why am I? Oh, well, there's James. Hi. I just beat up a reporter. Hey, Liara told me the council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still wanna go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Hey. Okay. Uh, d Again, I get... Uh, um, I get one in cooperation, but but like it, it has to go both ways. We can't just be like, "Oh, they're so self-centered. Why won't they help Earth?" Welcome, Commander Shepard. I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> it feels weird to me. It's like, yes, we must stand together, but only on our planet. Your planets don't matter. Ours is the most important. Like, we're just exactly the same as everyone else. Um, I'm looking for my... Oh, I remember this one. Oh, we can actually afford this as well. All right, well... Let me get that one. Flowers. Andy. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. 13th century English poet. Oh, Earth poet, not English poet. Uh, have been continuously in print since the 20th century. This edition of poems was created a few hundred years ago. Okay. I want guard poetry. Alcohol poetry. Yes. Excellent. Is there any reason I should buy these? Is there any reason I shouldn't buy these? I just, I can't. It's, it's going to be like the, um... It's going to be like the, um... The ships. The, the model ships. I'm just going to want all of them. The nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun there, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them. No, it's not that. It's colorless. Well, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Hmm. Well, that seems like fun. Oh. Am I good? Patient stable for now. T touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freeman. The narrow slit is still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Uh, is one of these mine? It, it, it's very weird that you just have all these people out here. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I... I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers we did. Yeah, but this is the future, man. We'll, we'll get you some hip electronics, biotics, whatever. Um... i look at my map. Will that help? What the chalk was? Uh, apparently Ashley's in here somewhere. I have, I have no idea. Pretty banged up there, Williams. Made me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. See you soon. No, oh, okay. I'm not allowed back in. Okay. So where's my where's my buddies? 
another right back in number one examination rooms we went there there was nothing there lab services oh, i guess that's where i cleared out their um inventory hi you don't mind me just wandering around here so yeah distinct lack of things for me to interact with uh. But this, so where, where is? So apparently, in here is Doctor Chocos and Doctor Michelle. Hey, where though? We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them, big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out tusks. It sounds like you were doing good work. That is good. I feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tip Tree. Oh, you're there. Oh, you're, um... Aren't you the lady that we saved from one of the colonies in the first game? Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Hell yeah. Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Oh, thank Don't thank you. me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Mm. That's great. We got the doctor back. Yeah, that was something else I was thinking about during my um, downtime. So is Dr. Michelle still around? I need to talk to her. But she's still in here. Ah, yeah, there she is. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from Oh, she was the one in the wards. Ward. Okay. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. Is this I the one who had... About Lieutenant Commander Williams? Is this the one who has a crush on Garrus? Also, I don't remember ha having this accent. <laughs> How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but... Her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. I was already there. Um. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. All right, nice. Uh, I guess... Yeah, out of stock. Thank you for shopping. 
was kind of hoping I could give Ashley a gift from one of the many I bought, but who knows, maybe we could eat the candy on our way to our next mission. I mean, I guess the Normandy? I don't know. That's all the places we were allowed to go. Uh, and apparently there's no one new here to talk to, so I guess we leave? Um... So, you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over. No. Uh, excuse me. We're mostly in fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. Oh, they're about to. Oh, oh, that's it. Doesn't have an answer for you. Uh, yes. Uh. Am I having a dream? Oh, it's the kid who got shut down. Hey, little boy. Sorry I couldn't save you. I hope it's not going to be this dramatic all the way through. forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, 
Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. I just wondered how. Right? Like, from what we've seen, the Reapers just can move quickly and they vastly, vastly, like, out gunners. How is Earth going to survive for what is essentially going to be months? Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Um, but I was, I started a thought earlier, but I didn't, I got interrupted by the never-ending story. It, what, it feels weird to me that at the end of Mass Effect 2, after we defeated the Collectors, destroyed their base, we just shuffled back to the Alliance and said, here's our ship, here I am, uh, d goodbye crew, goodbye all my friends and loyal subjects. See you in six months. I'm going to have a snack and sit down. Is it just me? Does that not feel weird? And now we're getting all high and mighty about it. I mean, I get it's probably for gameplay purposes more than anything. But yeah, I don't know. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Okay, so we need a minimum of this. I currently have the Alliance. Ooh. 
Engineering corpse? Okay. Okay. I mean, this is... Okay, I don't know who you are. But the first fleet, we got the third fleet. Fifth fleet. Diana Allers. Sure. Um, and then we have our Normandy mineral resources. Uncovered seven elemental deposits while scanning planets. Use all the recovered elements. Hmm. I wonder if that amount is based on how much we actually had at the end of our last playthrough, which is interesting. Um, I wonder if we can increase these through, like, missions, or if they go down. See, that's... Like I was talking about uh, with the last mission in the last game, there was a lot of invisible checks and stuff. And it'd be nice if these are dynamic, if as things happen, you know, through the game, these numbers go up and down. But we'll see. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay, so are you my new Kelly? You're you're in her spot. And you're telling me about my new messages. Email. Oh goodness. Okay. Eden Prime. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime. Are you kidding me? Church to him right now to attempt to liberate the colony. They've uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears that's why they attacked the colony. I have an upgrade waiting. Some of the data you found allow me to research an upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Sony's office. Okay, Glyph. I don't know who Glyph is. From ED, while we were in the dry dock, Joker suggested that a small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand should you be reinstated as commanding officer as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. <laughs> I chose something from the official Systems Alliance catalog, Soldiers Failed, and a Commemorative hooded jacket. Yes, I will absolutely wear a hoodie. Uh, Citadel, where's the Quarian fleet? Uh... Current and light spokespeople. Greedy and short sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning does not interfere with the other thing that should matter. Stopping the Reapers. <laughs> Absolutely. K9. Commander Shepard, I was a contractor working on the Normandies. Uh, your VIED emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech aboard. I, I, I have a dog. Flash, 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 X1A.34. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Galaxy wide alert. Fleet Admiral Hackett. Saber one. Why is the. Okay. <laughs> Saber. <laughs> Star Wars Episode 10. Saber one. I can see it happening. Earth under Reaper attack. Blah, blah, blah. Green Statement, Admiral David Anderson, David Anderson, okay. Wars power hereby authorized to assume command of the Normandy. You're directed to begin interdiction operations against all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and its allies. Blah, blah, blah. And Stephen Hackett, uh, forced to stretch thin. Missions will open the doors for the Alliance in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold the point after you complete your objectives. Okay, I see. Okay, so these just stay here now. Cool. Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. 
My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself a Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. I don't know if that's a good thing. Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. You know, I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered, I think. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Do the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. 
If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie, hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Hi, Doctor. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. I really wanted my scars, though. I'm sad they're gone. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. See, that's that's what I wanted. That's the attitude I wanted in the last game. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. And I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah, and I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. 
Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. <clears throat> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you come down here for something, or are you just looking? <sighs> to my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. <sighs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <sighs> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Ah, uh, I missed it. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them... Or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your loss. Commander. Okay, we're getting the collection back. That's the important thing. Oh, there's even more now. Where's my hamster? I got rid of my space hamster. What did... He wasn't Cerberus. He was mine. I'm very upset about that. Okay, we're getting our ships back slowly. I'm going to fill this out. I promise. That's my... That's my promise to the galaxy. I will... Get my ships back. So this concludes our tour of the Normandy 3, the third time we're doing this. Uh, seems like a small downgrade, but I understand wanting to get rid of all the Cerberus tech because they can't be trusted. Our arms are so skinny. Is that just me? Proportions seem w weirdly off. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time when we'll actually shoot something. Goodbye.